multiple integrals. So now we have a function that's a function of two independent variables, and we'll do this as x and y, although it could be x and time or anything else. So x and y seems rather more intuitive. So that's what we'll go with. How do we evaluate a double definite integral using what we already know? So we're going to think of this as an integral of integrals. There's another way to think about this too, but if we're combining multiple integration techniques, for example, maybe we integrate, use one technique to integrate along y and then another one to integrate along x, this is a good way to think about it, an integral of integrals. And so what we would do is we would perform a one-dimensional numerical integration. That then gives us a single data point of a second numerical integration. So trying to visualize this a little bit more. So we have a two-dimensional array. The first thing we might do is perform a bunch of one-dimensional integrations. And we come up with an array of numbers. We, we now have a one-dimensional array. And each number, this, this particular number in the array, comes from a numerical integration through our two-dimensional array vertically. And so all these one-dimensional numerical integrations going vertically gives us a horizontal 1D array of numbers. We can then come along and do a numerical integration this way and get a final single number. So that final single number, that's the answer to our double integral. And we can use different integration types, and that's very common. For example, this might be a very different difficult integration. So we use a rather sophisticated technique. This might be simple and we do a simple discrete integration. Let's look at the simplest of all the cases, a discrete double integration. So we have a double integral and we will simply write this as a double discrete integration. And it turns out we are adding the volume of a bunch of cuboids where the, the X and Y span of the cuboid is calculated this way. So this is the span of one of those cuboids along X divided by the number of cuboids in the X direction. D minus C is the width of the cuboid in the Y direction divided by N, the number of cuboids in the Y direction. And the MATLAB code is incredibly simple. We'll calculate our DX and DY. We'll take F, which is a two-dimensional array, reshape it to a column vector, then sum it. So it's adding up all of the numbers and then multiplying by dx and dy. And that gives us our double integration. So literally in one line of code, we're performing a double integration. I might even add, looking at this, it becomes clear how we could do a triple integration. We might calculate a dz. And then this line stays exactly the same, except we'll have a dx dy times dz. And now we're doing a triple integration and so on. Let's try to better visualize this double discrete integration. So we start off with some function, some two dimensional function of x and y. And it looks something like this. Now, the reality is we're not storing that continuous function. We're storing a discrete function. We only know that at discrete points. And that's what I'm drawing here with these series of points. And so while I'm drawing this function between the points, that's really just for us to see what's going on. That's not known. More realistically, this is what is stored in memory. We don't know what that function is between those points. Now we can make some guesses with interpolation or averaging or other things like that, but this is all that's known. And so we have to somehow come up with the volume of area under that curve. Going along with the theme of discrete integration where we had rectangles under each point, now we have volume. So we have a cuboid under each one of those points. And that's what we're drawing here. So the double integral is really the sum of the volumes of all of those cuboids. And just for fun, we can overlap that original function with the cuboids and we can now see where the the surface is slicing through those cuboids. Sometimes it comes above it, sometimes it comes below it, and that's the error. So that gap between the surface and our cuboids is how this gives us error. Now, of course, we can add more cuboids to this, get a better integration that will require more memory, more computation time, as we know. So 
Double integration for with discrete integration is just a simple extension of what we already know. And we can imagine this extending this to three dimensions, four dimensions, five dimensions. I can't visualize that, uh, but we can do it quite easily with discrete integration. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.